Okay, so we've finished up with the Jumbotron, and we're going to do the next section. Um, we're going to put several sections inside of what's called a container. So we're going to do this div class container. And notice it created a closing div tag. And I'm going to be coding inside of this. So what I did was I created a line break between the opening and the closing tag. And I'm going to be coding inside of this container. And inside of this container, I'm going to create a comment. And this is going to be our description section. And this is going to be where we start coding. So I added these lines here. And this is going to be underneath here is going to be our description section. So real quick, just to show you the finished product of the section that we're creating. It's just a couple of paragraphs. Okay, so it's just a, a heading with a couple of paragraphs. And after that, we're going to have a trailer with uh, whatever YouTube video we want to add. So the next section here, just a couple paragraphs. After that, we're adding a YouTube video. So let's bring back our site. So here's our description. Underneath that description tag, We're going to have a section with an ID. Now notice how inside of this section tag, we're inside of a container, then we're inside of a section tag. Again, this, what is ranking, that's, that's what you can change. You can make that whatever you want to say. And you can copy and paste a paragraph. You can type something here. Uh, I just copied and paste something from Rankin's website inside of this paragraph tag. And I'm going to do that twice. Actually, I'm going to copy this paragraph tag. I'm just going to put two of the same paragraphs, one right after the other. OK, so let me format this. Actually, I like when that paragraph's on another line. Okay, and that's the entirety of that section. So what I just typed, I'm going to highlight. This is all inside of the container, and I'm going to pause the video here. Okay, so we have the description section. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do underneath this section tag is we're going to create a comment for the trailer section. And this is going to be a YouTube video. So underneath this section, we have a trailer section. And just to show you the end product, what, what we're building out here, this is our last section. We just created a couple of paragraphs. Here's our trailer. So you can see a heading. You can see a small par uh, paragraph. And then we just have a YouTube video. YouTube video responds, shrinks down, shrinks down for uh, different devices. OK, so that's what we're going to create. So here's the code for that. We're going to have another section tag with an ID. Here's our heading. 
Again, the class of display four deals with the size of the heading. Text center obviously puts it in the middle of the screen. Just says rank and trailer, so that's going to be a bigger text. Our paragraph has text in the center that says watch our video. We're going to have a div and this is going to help us with that responsiveness. So our div has a class of embed responsive and embed responsive dash 16 by 9 and that's the ratio 16 wide by 9 high so it's basically a ratio of the height to the width okay and here is where inside of this div is where we're going to put our YouTube video so I'm going to pull up YouTube and I'm going to search for Rankin Technical College and bless you This is the video that I chose. And when you find the video that you want, you need to click on the share button. And if you click on embed, it's going to give you the iframe code. In which you can just click copy. and paste the iframe code. Now one thing I'm going to do with this iframe is I'm going to add a class of embed responsive hyphen item I'm actually going to take the width and the height off of it because that class should handle that the 16 by 9 we've got a source and let's see how this looks Okay, so there's our video, and you can see if we shrink it down, it does respond. So our video is working how we expect it to. So we have some information, and we have our YouTube video. So that's going to be enough for this particular video. I'm going to stop this recording here. This one was a short one, only nine minutes long.